Okay. So in part seven, what we're going to do is we're going to program it so that the reset button actually clears the slider effects, and then moving forward, it will also clear any filters that we apply. So I have opened my script.js file, and I also have my project open in the browser. Remember, you can do that by double-clicking on the file name, index.html, and it will open your web app in the browser. Perfect. Okay, so one thing I wanted to point out in case you didn't do this last time, we talked about how you can comment out your slider code from part five. You can also go ahead and delete that so it's not in there. I'm gonna go ahead and delete mine so it's a little bit cleaner. And I'm gonna leave this dot reverse revert false commented out so that I can apply in my change slider handler function so that I can apply more than one effect at a time. But the next thing that we're gonna do is program the reset button. So after my um, for loop for each loop that applies the change slider handler function whenever a slider is moved, I'm gonna add code right underneath that, but before this closing curly bracket, comma, false, parenthesis, and semicolon. The first thing we want to do is create a variable named reset button, and this variable is just going to get the HTML element of the reset button by its ID of reset. So if we go back to our index page, we can find our reset button. It has an ID of reset, so it will get this HTML element, and later we'll be able to use that variable to see if it's been clicked. So, var reset button equals document dot get element by ID the ID is reset semicolon go ahead and save that the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna write a function that will um, be called whenever we want to reset the image so we're gonna call this function reset button handler and pass it the parameter of event so to set up our function we would do this function, the name of our function, reset button handler, the parameter, so parentheses, parameter is going to be event, you need our curly brackets, hit enter, you should have your closing curly bracket and you want to go ahead and right now add your closing semicolon. Okay, so inside this function that's going to be used to reset our image, we're going to actually call or write two pieces of code. One, we're going to use a for each loop that's going to reset the range values back to zero. And then we're going to clear all of the effects and reset the canvas back to its original condition. So remember, each time that we are uh, add an image into the photo editor, what Cayman is actually doing is making a canvas. And we're actually applying images or image effects to that canvas. We need to clear the canvas. OK, so inside this function, We'll go ahead and set up a for each loop. That's going to set all of the effects back to zero. We can do that. We're actually going to use our ranges variable um, or list or array that we defined up here. So we're going to say, I'm going to tab in ranges dot for each call function. Oops. Pass that function range. So the setup, if you look, is very close to what we did to apply the slider effects. We need a curly bracket, closing curly bracket, closing parenthesis, hit enter. I'm going to go ahead and this is going to close my for each on ranges. I'm going to add the semicolon. And then inside of this, we're just going to set range.value equal to zero. Save that. So that's going to be the first part of our reset button handler function. The next thing we are going to do is we're actually going to use the Cayman method to reset the whole canvas. So we can do that by saying Cayman, parentheses, quotes, pound image, because that's the ID of the image that we're using that we're creating a canvas for. We're going to say function, empty parentheses, space, curly bracket, Closing curly bracket, I'm going to hit enter. So I have a closing curly, a closing parenthesis. I'm going to go ahead and add my closing semicolon right now and then go back inside this function. So 
Before, we've said like this dot revert false. If we want to clear all of the effects on the canvas and set, or, and set it back to its completely original condition, we're going to say this dot revert true. Save that. All right. So we've defined our function, reset button handler. And I just want to point out there's two pieces of code or almost like two functions that we're calling inside this one. And then it has its closing curly and closing semicolon. Notice how I have tabbed things in so it's a little bit easier to read. I really recommend that you do that. So I'm now outside of the function reset button handler. And I'm going to call it whenever our reset button is clicked. So we can say reset button dot on click equals and we'll call the reset button handler function semicolon. All right, let's go ahead and save that. We're going to refresh our page. I'm going to go ahead and choose an image. Remember, you still need to choose an image whenever you are starting with a fresh app. Um, that choosing of the image actually creates the canvas. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and apply some sliders. You can see that my um, effects are staying there no matter what um, other slider effect I apply. All right, and let's say that I just wanted to clear everything and start out again. I should be able to press the reset button and it resets back. If you are having issues with this part or any other part for that matter, you want to go ahead and right click and click inspect. Go to console and start to look to see if any errors come up. And you can actually click on the error and see where it's at. And then go back and make changes to your script.js file. All right, and that's part seven, short and sweet.